On September 29th, I decided I was going to do something that I always wanted to do but was always scared to try, build my own PC. I figured, hey, it'll be fun to learn to put one together, and at the end of it, I get a whole PC. How cool is that? I told myself, how hard could this possibly be? We begin this journey with a parable that I like to call Get Screwed. These are M.2 screws. As you can tell, they're incredibly small because they are meant for M.2 SSDs. Don't know what those are? Don't worry, because I didn't either. This manual, which came with these screws, basically only says that their purpose is for SSDs. Long story short, I open this bag thinking I'm going to need these screws, and I drop them in a carpeted room. I dedicated an entire afternoon to trying to find those screws. Screws that I didn't even need. This left me feeling pretty distraught and excuse the language, but gosh darn it, I was feeling quite peeved. I, however, am not one to get easily frustrated as my natural zen-like being let all that anger wash over me like a wave on the shore. The day after this debacle, I decide to build it again and this time I do it to completion. However, there was a problem. So generally when you turn a PC on, it looks like this. Beautiful, right? However, when I turned mine on for the first time, it did something more along the lines of this. And that's when I figured out something was wrong. So I take it to a repair guy and he says, hey, your motherboard is bad. And then I go, no, you're bad. And then he says, dude, I'm just doing my job. Don't take it out on me. And I say, my sincerest apology. A week goes by and all of a sudden everything seems different. So it's a week later, my confidence is regained, and now I have a brand new motherboard that this time I will treat with the utmost respect and responsibility so that it does not break again. I once more build it to completion. How about we try it out again? Death, 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 death. Well, that's new. So I waltz back to that PC repair shop. And what does he show me? So he takes a look and shows me this on my CPU. The pins on my CPU got bent. So what does this mean? It means you gotta replace your CPU. Okay, sucks, but reasonable. And your motherboard. Now why would that be the case? You make a tough point, chief. Let's just get an RMA from Best Buy and get this over with. Wait, what? I figured I may as well just give it to the guy and have him make it so that I don't have to go through the trouble again. I mean, I was losing confidence in myself, my family was losing confidence in me. Hey mom, did you have confidence that I was gonna get the PC built on my own? Yes. Like, for real, did you have confidence in me? No, I had no confidence in you. You sure proved me wrong. How sad. Safe to say I was at a crossroads. I went back and forth in my head whether or not to try and build it myself as I waited for the CPU to arrive. I figured I'd just give it to the guy at the repair shop so that he'd make it and I won't have to go through the trouble once more. Then I thought, no. I don't know what masochistic tendency suddenly arose within me, but for some reason, I wanted to give it another shot. I once again waited for the parts to come back so that I could get building as soon as possible. When the parts got here, I started building very quickly for what would be the very last time I would build that PC to completion. And lo and behold, After seven weeks, five visits to a PC repair shop, $1,200, all of these boxes, and a ton of blood, sweat, and tears, I finally have a PC. You could say that this entire experience is a very weird superposition between a nightmare and a dream. It was expensive, it was time consuming, and it was frustrating. By all measures, this should have been a regrettable experience, but for some reason, it isn't. And when it all ended, you forget about those mistakes. Because even through all the mistakes and all the times where I was let down, I stayed dedicated. It becomes washed away with an incredible sense of pride. 
and you turn it on with a fear that something has to go wrong and it doesn't and all of a sudden it becomes all worth it. So I don't care how much money I spent or how many mistakes I made because in the end I crossed that finish line and therefore earned the right to look back and marvel at how much I learned. And in the end, that is how you build your PC. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I've literally been waiting to do this for the video and I almost forgot to do it. Holy shit. Take this off. Okay, here it goes. Oh my god, that felt awesome.